Example 5, ejemplo 5. So here we are dealing with graphing now. Not only making tables, but we're also graphing these piecewise functions. So as you saw, I just covered up the tables. And so here we're dealing with this piecewise function. Again, go ahead and stop the video, write it down, and then we'll move on. So here, again, because there's three, in, three um, equations, there are three tables. So this is what I'm doing for those three tables. Bam. Right there. Bam. And again, remember, each one of these are our x values. And those are the one numbers that we put in for our x values here. And again, here, we start off with our um, end point. So for this end point, it's 0. So we go 0. And then again, because it goes on forever and ever and ever to positive infinity, oh sorry, negative infinity there. That means we need at least need to have four or five numbers here. So zero, negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four. Four or five numbers there. Alright, so then here that's between one and three. So one, two, and three. Always have the endpoint. And then here for three, go three, four, five, six and again four or five numbers there so you could have went up to seven if you want to but because that goes on forever to positive infinity three to positive infinity we know that for that one we're going to go ahead and go at least four or five numbers there all right so with this we're going to go ahead and fill the values in and again we know how to put them in we put zero in for x negative one in for x negative two in for x negative three and negative four in for x so it happens each time and then the same thing here, we put 1 in for x, 2 in for x, and then 3 in x, and we simplify it down. And then the same thing here, put 3 in for x, 4 in, 5, and 6. So multiply 3 times 3, 4 times 3, 3 times 5, and then six, um, 3 times 6, and do all the great stuff. So that's that. We made a, a jump and put all the values in because we filled in the table already. So if you need to stop the video, go ahead and put the numbers in, put them in really quickly. Again, you should know how to find those. And now we're going to go ahead and put in the open and closed circles. So here we know that 0 is going to be a closed circle because it has a less than or equal to part on it. So this is closed. Now for the rest of these here, because these are not endpoints, they're all closed. In anything that is not an endpoint is a closed circle. Anything not an endpoint. Right, and again from here, we know 1 is an open circle because it does not have an equal to sign with it, with the inequality, with a less than sign. But the other one is closed because it's a middle number. And then 3, because it's an equal to sign, is closed. All right, and then the last part here, 3 right here is not an equal to sign, so that means that 3 is open. But then everything else is closed after that, right? Because they're not endpoints. So only endpoints are are, can be open or closed. Everything else is a closed circle. All right, so bam, we got it. That's it. So now the last part is to go ahead and graph it. The last part is graphing these tables onto this graph right here. Now, what I would say is go ahead and make a graph that's 10 in all directions. And anything that's bigger than 10 on your table, and like you don't have to graph those points. That's the perfect part because you don't have to graph them because it's not going to fit on your graph. So again, make it 10 in all direction. And if you need graph paper, ask me for graph paper. I'm, I'll hand it right to you right now. Just ask for it and I'll, we'll go ahead and finish it up. All right, so now let's take a look at our first equation, this one here. So all we're doing is plotting these points here. So we're plotting 0, 3, negative 1, 2, negative 2, 1, negative 3, 0, and negative 4, negative 1. So we're going to plot those points. So 0, and we go up 3. And again, 0, 3 is closed. So we do a closed circle there at 0, up 3. Then we go negative 1, positive 2, another closed circle. Negative 2, 1, closed. Negative 3, 0. Negative 4, negative 1. And with this one, I'm going to go ahead and draw a line so that it actually continues on because we said this side 
has uh, um oh sorry ooh, ooh. so it starts there my fault so here again it starts right here at uh what is that zero three does not go past it don't go there that's that was a mistake don't do that no but here it starts at zero three and then it comes down and because we said that x is less than or equal to zero for our condition so that's what we said right here as x is less than or equal to zero we know with our interval notation that's negative infinity to zero so if it starts at zero here and it going down this direction we said that when it came to infinity that we always had something it's always an arrow so we only use an arrow for the infinity so since these go on forever it's an infinity there and an arrow and again negative infinity or positive infinity means arrows means an arrow okay, just as a reminder there all right for our second one for our second part right here we do one two two one and then three zero and again one two is an open circle so we start at one and we go up two it's an open circle there set two one which is closed and then three zero which is closed and then we connect those points All right, and then last but not least is the, the final table right here this last table and again we plot those points and here if you look at it these points actually are all off the graph because they're big they're bigger than 10 <laughs> so therefore we don't have to graph those points you need to make sure you graph this one up. so we go three come all the way up to nine and again that's an open circle there and then it's going to go up forever and ever and ever and ever and we know it's a linear function because it's just an x right there so just x nothing's with the x so it's linear so it means all we do is just draw a line that goes up like this and because we said that our inequality is x is greater than three and again bring that back out x is greater than three x is greater than three we know this is from 3 to positive infinity. And we said infinity, whether it's negative or positive, means an arrow. So on this side is an arrow. Right, and also, let's just throw this one in here in the middle because I, I didn't do that one. And again, here it starts. Oops. Ooh, my fault, my fault. So here it starts at 1 and it ends at 3. Booyah. So it's a closed circle at three, an uh, open circle at one, and that's our piecewise function. That's it. Again, make the tables. You fill all the values in. We figure out open and closed, and then we just graph what's on the table. And then you're done. That's, pie that's graphing piecewise functions.